Hey, nutritionist Chris here. Today I want to talk to you about the topic of calories and calorie counting and how they affect your health, your ability to lose weight, and any other health goals that you might have. So for the last few decades, there's this, been this idea presented to us that we need to watch the calories in all of our food. It's so ingrained that now it is, I believe, law to actually list the amount of calories on a label for food products because it's so important to us to know how many calories in our food that you have to post it on food products or else they can't be sold in the grocery store. Well, what is a calorie exactly? Is it something that you can taste, smell, feel, eat? Not exactly. A calorie is a measure of energy. Just like a, a meter or a yard or a foot is a measure of length, or a liter or a gallon is a measure of volume of a liquid, a calorie is a measure of the amount of energy found in a food or food product. The important thing I want to get across here is that calories do have a role in weight loss because it's true, calories in versus calories out is important, but some people draw the line right there. That's all that matters. Not really the case because we can't survive on calories. It's true that if you consume less calories than you burn, you will burn fat. And that's important if you're trying to lose weight. But just like a car runs on gasoline and the engine burns the energy, transforms the gasoline and burns it and transforms it into energy, but you cannot build a car out of gasoline, likewise with food and the human body. You can't just live on calories. Yes, we need energy to live, to walk around, to function, but most importantly, we need energy to convert the food that we eat into our tissues and to rebuild our used up tissues and keep us alive. However, if the foods that you're eating and the things that you're putting in your mouth do not actually contain nutrients, then what are you actually using that energy for? Ultimately, you're contributing to ill health due to nutrient deficiency. So I would argue that it's more important to be finding foods that contain a dense, packed amount of nutrition goodness. Foods that are going to satisfy you and make you stop overeating because they contain the nutrients your body needs. See, this is the thing. When you eat things that don't contain any actual nutrition, like flour that's had the vitamins removed from it so that it can stay good on the shelf for longer, or anything else that has been processed in a way that it actually kills the nutritional value so that it stays longer on the shelf of the grocery store, or in the trucks that are shipping it, or the airplanes that are shipping it, those foods don't actually give your body what it needs to build your tissues. And that's actually why we're eating. And if your body isn't getting the things it needs to keep it healthy, it's going to make you eat those things by sending you food cravings. So when you eat foods that are perhaps low in calories, but also low in nutrition, your body is ultimately going to start sending you hunger signals, cravings, generally for things that are high calorie. And when you eat those high calorie things, because you eventually must give in to those cravings, that's when you gain weight. So my point here is stop calorie counting. Don't bother with it. Don't worry about the fact that an avocado is high in calories or that coconut oil is high in calories. Coconut oil is going to boost your metabolism and burn fat. Calories are not. It's a one-dimensional way of looking at food, in my opinion, to count calories. My hope is that what you take from this is that you can just exhale some relief and stop counting calories. Forget about it. Don't look at the labels. In fact, if it's got a label, put it down and go to the produce section and buy an actual food rather than the processed version of it that you're buying in a box or a bag. Okay? These are really easy tips to get your health up and flourishing, frankly. If you're ill, it's because you're missing nutrients. If you're missing nutrients, it's because you're missing nutrients in your diet. 
If you're missing nutrients in your diet, it's because you're not eating food. Don't worry about calories. If you want to lose weight, sure. But you're never going to gain muscle if you're not eating food that contains nutrients. I hope this helps. I hope this makes your eating life easier. Go over to eatingistheanswer.com to get more tips on how to eat delicious food that's going to make you healthy. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Pass this on if you think it's important. Thank you. Have a great day.